Hey everyone, it's the Roger Williams Media Minute and today I want to talk with you about avo.com. So if you're a lawyer, uh, you want to make sure you're online and people can find your business and they can call you and they can find your address and they can read about what type of legal services you offer. But you also want to be aware that there's a lot of websites out there that you may already be on and not be fully aware of that. One of those is called avo.com. This is a website where they've gone out and they've basically gone to every single state bar in the country and they have collected all the data of lawyers and put them onto their website. Whether those lawyers know it or not, whether they gave permission for it or not, you're probably on there if you are registered with a state bar somewhere in the United States. You need to make sure that you go on there and search for yourself. There might be multiple listings for you. You want to make sure you get it whittled down to just one. And then you want to make sure you claim it. It doesn't cost anything to claim it. Once you've claimed it, you can add your photo to it. You can update information. You can put your current phone number and business address. And maybe if you're working for somebody else, you can put what types of law you practice. Uh, you can get people to write reviews. You can get people to give recommendations. Other lawyers can give recommendations. Um, you can put up any papers you've been published in, any awards you've got. A lot of stuff on there. You can also participate in their question and answer part where you can actually interact with people who have got legal questions right then. Uh, as a lawyer, I recommend you at least go claim the profile, get it set up correctly. You might have some negative reviews on there and you want to deal with those. Avo has got a very fair system of reviewing reviews for the lawyer's side of it compared to Yelp, where Yelp will pretty much always side with the reviewer and really not take a lot of interest in the business owner. That's my experience anyway. Avo will immediately put a block on a review if you flagged it and you've marked it as questionable and you have a problem with it. They will then go to the person who wrote the review and ask them if they stand behind their review. If the person says yes, then the review stays. And unfortunately, at that point, you're kind of stuck um, with that review being on there. Uh, but in a lot of cases, reviewers don't respond. They have one week to respond. In a lot of cases, they don't. And so the review will come off. The other good thing, though, is like I've talked about with Yelp and other places where people can write reviews on is it's giving you insight into how your business is operating that you might not be aware of because people are much more likely to go online or behind your back and complain about you rather than confront you to your face. So, you know, see the review if it's negative and read it objectively. If they have legitimate complaints, you know, first of all, reach out to the person, apologize, see if you can work something out with that person. You might be able to, you might be able to get them to take the review down. Um, if you can't do that, at least make sure that you review your internal policies and make adjustments as necessary so you don't get complaints in the future. Now, at the final stage is that if the person is putting a complaint on there that is completely false and libel and you need to sue the person for it, you need to seek out legal counsel that handles that type of stuff. I suggest an internet lawyer, someone who's familiar with the laws governing the internet. You have to understand that you really can't sue Avo in this case. They're protected by some law from like 1996. I think it's the DMCA, Digital Millennium Copyright Act. Um, but it might be even something different than that. This is how out of date our laws are on this stuff. Uh, but at the end of the day, if you're a lawyer, avvo.com. Go to it, search for your name. If you're on there, claim it. Get your picture on there at least. You might get some business out of it. Uh, my experience with my clients is that Avo really doesn't generate much business. Sorry, Avo. I know you want me to advertise with you, but I, I you know, honestly, we haven't tracked a single successful lead through you yet. Uh, but, you know, maybe other people are successful with it. So check them out. Let me know how it goes. Emails right there, comments are down below. Are you on Avo? Have you had a good experience with them? Have you had a bad experience with them? Love to hear what's happened to you. Um, other than that, rock on.